Hey guys, actually, hang on a second. Hey Jen, could you come here for a minute, please? Who? <laughs> who who bought these propellers? I did. And uh, why did you buy them? Well, I thought they were really fun, and you could try them out, make a video out of it, and share it with everybody out there. Okay, thanks. Sure. Let's talk about third-party propellers for the Mavic Mini. <laughs> Now, I just want to say here right off the top that this is not an endorsement for third-party propellers. And from DJI's perspective, if you choose to use third-party accessories with your Mini, you're on your own. Any damage incurred by using these third-party accessories will not be covered under your warranty or DJI Care refresh. Now, I have had good success with third-party propellers in the past with my DJI Spark, so I didn't hesitate to give these ones a try. My wife, Jen, got them off Amazon, and if you go searching on Amazon for Mavic Mini propellers, you're going to find plenty. There's a lot of similar looking propellers from a variety of brands. This is definitely a buyer beware situation, so don't expect consistent quality from these third party offerings. Personally, I would rather buy from a trusted brand like Master Airscrew, but as of this date, they are not producing anything for the Mavic Mini. Now, I've said earlier that I've used third-party propellers in the past, and I still do with my DJI Spark, but the Spark is an entirely different bird. The Mini's propellers are so thin and light and fragile. They're just not the same as the Spark's propellers at all. The Mini can also be really finicky with faulty props, so you need to be careful here. And that is a good reminder to make sure you install your Mini's propellers correctly and inspect them often. Now, I did a video that can help you out with that, so link up here and also in the description. The general build quality of these props seems good. I do find that they feel a bit more stiff, perhaps even more brittle when compared to the DJI parts. And during installation, I found that the screws were a little bit more difficult to get in. And I don't know if that's a quality issue or just simply too much thread lock on the screws. Now the overall fit and finish is just simply not as good as the DJI propellers. When you zoom in really close, you can see rougher edges and that the fit is not as precise as original DJI parts. When the screws are tightened down, you can also see a lot more movement with the third-party propellers. That extra play in the props did not seem to impact flight, but I can't help to wonder if it will cause issues over time or just simply cause the propellers to wear out sooner. The props I tested were a little bit heavier than the DJI propellers, but not significant. Only a half gram heavier for a full set of propellers with screws. But don't worry, your Mini's overall weight will still fall below 250 grams. These propellers are also advertised as being low noise, and I would agree with that. I don't have a decibel meter to test that out, but you could just tell from the very first flight that they were noticeably quieter than the DJI propellers. Now, a big part of my attraction to these propellers is the color. I think they look awesome, and it's just fun to have something other than black propellers on a light gray drone. The colorful props also give the Mini a bit more visibility in the air, but that quickly diminishes with distance, so honestly, the extra visibility is not really a big factor. So how did they perform? Well, I've been using these propellers exclusively since Christmas, over dozens of flights, and as far as stability and performance goes, I did not have a single issue. No errors in the flight logs, no sudden or unexpected drops, and no flight anomalies whatsoever. Two months in though, these propellers are starting to show some wear. I do a lot of indoor flights for testing and making videos, and yes, I do bump into things, and no, I'm not always using my prop guards, but even with some minor damage, the props are still doing fine. But if I was gonna to continue to use them and fly outdoors, I probably would be replacing some pairs at this point. So overall, what do I think? Well, certainly the propellers have worked very well for me. I do like the colors, I think they're fun, and they do contribute a little bit to extra visibility. The low noise aspect is good, but overall I just, I can't get past the risk. I would prefer to buy my propellers from a trusted brand, especially for this device. 
Now that I'm done all my testing and these propellers are fairly beat up, I'm gonna go back to my original props for my day-to-day -day flights. Not that these didn't do well, but I'm just more confident with the DJI parts. But still, from time to time, I think I'm gonna put these on when my videos need a little bit more color. And the last thing I'm gonna say here is for DJI, if you're listening, how about some cool, colorful propeller options for the Mavic Mini? This is the mass market, everyday drone for everybody, so I think we could use a little bit more fun. And that's it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this video useful, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.